All right, this is the book of St. John, chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. Shalom. All right. The water, the water, the water. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And um, this lesson, I wanted to entitle it a uh, peaceful place I've done a lesson like this before a while back and I uh, just have a few precepts that I want to read over and uh, hopefully you get something from the lesson you know because at the end of the day you know we're seeking peace from Yahweh Bashim Shai. we're seeking mercy you know we're hoping that we're worthy enough to be delivered by Yahweh Bashim Shai. we're found worthy in his eyes we are part of his election those that were written from the very beginning to see his salvation, man, being a part of the first resurrection. All right. At the end of the day, you know, this is what we're striving for. You know, so if we strive in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Lord will strive with us. You know. So let's read this again. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, St. John chapter 16 and 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. And in Yahweh Shai and his word, all right, in him we have peace, man. Remember, Yahweh Shai is the one who gave up his body as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is his reasonable service, as the book of Romans, chapter 12, goes into, and that applies to us. But Yahweh Shai was that ultimate sacrifice you know he was his blood being spilled you know would adopt us back to the father you know it would give us grace it would give us mercy and so through Yahweh Shai we truly have peace man all right it says in the world ye shall have tribulation and being in the world you're gonna have tribulation let's look up the word tribulation all right this is the Collins English tribulation. You can refer to the suffering or difficulty that you experience in a particular situation as tribulations. And that's what we have. We're constantly going through tribulation. You can refer to the suffering or difficulties, having difficulties, man. You know, today was a very difficult day. Very difficult, man. You know, and I mean, one thing after another, after another, after another, down to the last minute or the last 10 minutes, you know, I had to reach a deadline and, and man, just, you know that, you know, you're being tested. You know that Satan is in the midst, you know, stupid little shit that, that's hindering you or in your way. And it's very, man, it's, it's tribulation, man. It's, it's unfucking believable but it's believable, you know, because this is what we have to go through, you know, in our, in our walk in Yahweh B'Hashim Shai, you know. So it says, you can refer to the suffering or difficulty that you experience in a particular situation as tribulations you know so do your experiences you know the difficulty and the trouble that's tribulation man so it says let's read back in john 16 33 these things i have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace in the world ye shall have tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world so if yahweh shai have overcome the world that mean that we that are in Yahweh Shai, right? That believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai, we can overcome the world. All right? Because he proved that we can escape. All right? He proved that there's a way out. And he is the way out. All right? That's why the scriptures say he's the door. You know? 
can't get to the Father but through Him. You know? So, moving on. This is St. John chapter 14 and 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You know? So, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. And the Lord gives us that through his word. This is why you have to trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai. When you trust and you believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai, Yahweh Bashim Shai comes through, man. You know? Comes through, man. It says, Not as the world giveth, give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So in times of tribulation, you know, you get a troubled heart, troubled mind. You get the you get the worrying, not a, not you know, not knowing what the outcome is going to be. You're thinking of the worst. The scriptures say, "Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid, because if you trust in Yahweh Bashim Shai, the Lord will come through, and the Lord does that, man. All right, this is Colossians chapter three verse fifteen, and let the peace of the Most High rule in your hearts. To the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. That's why it's important to be thankful, man. It's very important to be thankful, man. You know, be thankful that you have a roof over your head. Be thankful that you got money in your pocket to, to get something to eat. Be thankful that you got clean clothes to wear. You know, be thankful that you can take care of your hygiene, man. You can groom yourself. You know, be thankful that you have this word in your how about Shimmy How Shot. You know? Be thankful that the Lord allowed you to have transportation to get the A to B, making life a little easier in this wicked society. Be thankful, man, for the things that the Lord do for you. Be thankful, man. And all we all we you know, you know, all we need is the is the is the um the uh the uh what you call it, the necessity uh what's the word i want to use our daily bread that's all we need man you know and the, and the daily bread is is what you know you being a man all right serving your how about shimmy out shy having a place to stay you having food to eat clothes on your back things i just mentioned you know clean clothes being able to take care of yourself and having an able body to do so be thankful man all right because the lord can make your world a living hell you know satan is there to test your faith you know we kind of get mad at this devil <laughs> we get mad at the tempter for doing what he do but he's actually helping the most high building upon your faith seeing if you know you know what's good and bad you know but you damn devils man the wicked, the counterpart of uh, the tempter and the earth, you devils got a lot to pay for, man. You know, you greedy bastards, man. It's amazing. Anyway, it says, and let the peace of the most high rule in your hearts, see, in our minds, to, to the which also you are called in one body, because we have one doctrine, we have sound mind, all right, we... We teach the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is the true gospel with 100% truth, you know, and, and through faith. It says, you are called in one body. There's only one body, man. You can't be, um, you know, calling yourself one body in Yahweh Shai, and your doctrine is against Yahweh Shai. You can't have a unity camp unless all brothers agree on the doctrine and sound judgment and the, and the same judgment. You know, it don't make sense. We're called in one body. The Lord has one name. All right. The father has a name and the son has and the son has a name. You can't call on the name of the Lord in something else. All right. So it says also ye are called in one body. It says and be ye thankful. Be you thankful. Be thankful, man. All right. Moving on. Romans chapter 5 and 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shai. So it says, 
Therefore, being justified by faith, we're justified by faith. Let's look up this word justify. Justify. If you describe a decision, action, or idea as justified, you think it is reasonable and acceptable. So how we live in our life today. Think about it. We're living our life in this wicked society. This life that you're living and your every day going, how do you conduct yourself, behave yourself, right? In this wicked society today. The Lord considers his elect to be what? Justified. All right? And this is why we tell you that we're rehearsing the righteous acts because none of us are perfect. We're seeking mercy from Yahweh Bashim Shai. We're asking for forgiveness. We're thankful for what we have, our daily bread. You know? Let me read this again. Therefore, being justified by faith. See, is justified by faith. Believing in Yahweh Bashim Shai. Believing in his doctrine. Believing in his gospel. Believing in this word. All right? Believing in him because he is the word. Right? Therefore, being justified by faith. Now, justified means if you describe a decision, action, or idea as justified, you think it is you think it is reasonable and acceptable. So the Lord finds us reasonable and acceptable. All right, for being for, for having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's being justified. Right, so therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shai. So, if we we right with Yahweh Shai, well, guess what? The Heavenly Father is going to be right with us, He's going to be fine by us if we're delighting in Yahweh Bashim. Well, yep, Yahweh Bashim Shai, but let me say it again if we're delighting, you know, and pleasing Yahweh Shai, well, guess what? The Father's going to be pleased in us, you know. These are some things to keep in mind, man. Because we we need mercy, man. We need a healer. We need a savior. And that savior is Yahweh Shai. We want out of this fucking place. We want the Lord to come back and fight. Because somebody got to take this devil to war. These Edomites. These Edomites is going as far with, they, with their agenda that they're telling you. Is that they want to be the most high. They want to sit at the temple of the Most High. They want to be as though they is the Most High, as the scriptures say. And they want to replace the Most High. They want to make him into non-existence. When the Most High exists, his name itself, Yahweh, he exists. All right? So we need Yahweh Shai, not only to save us from this devil and his wicked ways, but to defeat this devil. And that's exactly what Yahweh Shai is coming to do. He's coming to save and he's coming to fight. And he ain't going to lose, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai ain't going to lose. All right? So just know who you worship, man. Believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Because Yahweh Shai will defend you. He will be there for you. You know? <laughs> man. The water, the water, the water, Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. All right? And the water, the water, the water, Yahweh Bashim Shai for the brotherhood. All right, for the Lord's chosen men. Okay? It says, Romans 5 and 1, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 26 and 3. It says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. So we want to be in that perfect peace, man. And we have that peace through the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. As long as we remain faithful and we endure all the way to the end. No matter how much tribulation we go through and hell you go through. And what you have to suffer. You always have that peace and that love. You know, Apostle Paul said this in uh, Romans 8 and 35 on down. What uh, Nothing can separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai. Hamashiach. Shall tribulation, distress, persecution. You know, none of that stuff. Will separate us from the love that we have in Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. So it says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, 
because he trusted in thee. And this is because we trust in Yahweh Bashim Shai. This word of the Lord is true, man. You know, the word of the Lord is true. If you doubting, that's on you. That means you don't have understanding, you know, because there should be no doubt. You can't have faith and doubt at the same time. You know, you got to trust in Yahweh Bashim Shai and let the Lord work his patience, you know, work his work. That's why the scriptures say in Re uh, Revelations 3 and 10, um, because thou has kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Woo! And that's when they go in cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or his forehead. You know, that's when that, 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 that time is approaching us. And then that time is going to be crucial because it's going to be considered what? Jacob's trouble. So be thankful, man. Seek peace from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. All right. It says, because he trusted in thee. All right. This is Matthew chapter 5 and 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. Bless are the peacemakers, see? Be a peacemaker, man. You know? Fuck all that bullshit. That strife and envy. And all that 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 evil spirit, man. You know, it takes energy to be mad, man. And to be evil. You know? It takes a lot of energy. You got a lot of women that constantly like to stay in that type of spirit. But it's a lot of energy. You know? But when you peaceful, you at, you at rest. You calm. I'm not saying that this is our rest. But in your mind, you 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 know, you more calm, you more, you know, uh, settled down, you more relaxed. So where when decisions you have to make, you know, you can deal with those decisions and you can make the right decision in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So it says, uh, "Thou thou will keep him in perfect peace." Salakia. This is Matthew five and nine. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. Peacemakers, man. Make peace with your brothers. If you have a squabble or you have a difference, make peace. Especially the brotherhood, man. Brothers are solid, man. You know? And brothers are the real men of the Lord, man. You know? Make peace, man. Settle your differences if you have any troubles. Because these are the Lord's men. You know? The elect are that perfect, the perfect, you know, perfection of the Lord. And they here, right here in the earth today. Waiting to have their bodies changed, man. You know? Brother serving the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You might have a difference with the brother. You might have had a little argument. Y'all ain't seeing eye to eye. Man, make peace, man. You know? Both brothers still teaching the word, doing the works. Make peace. Fuck all that bullshit, man. Let that bullshit go. Fuck all that dumb shit, man. It's more... It's, it's, other, it's too much going on out here than... Than, you know strife you know it's too much major shit man that you that you really you know that that's going on that that's really you know that's going to trump that little shit that that you bickering about you know so like, like i said let's read the scripture again bless are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of the most high now this is my last one and i'm gonna close this is the book of romans chapter eight and six for the for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And that's what we are, man, here. Us brothers in Great Millstone, all right? The Lord's hopeful elect, all right? It says, for the carnally minded is death. Those are the two thirds. Those are those that, you know, that the Lord ain't dealing with, you know? That's having strong delusion to believe in lies, man. To lead, to lead upon, you know, to lead their life according to how they feel. You know, you're carnal minded. We're not carnal minded, man. All right. The scriptures say, uh, but to the but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. We live more for the spirit than we do in the flesh. Yes, the flesh is a factor. You know, yes, the flesh can overwhelm or, you know, get get over on you. You know, scriptures say the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. But what you want to do. Is live more for the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai than you are for the pleasures of your flesh. Because if you give yourself over to your flesh, you're gonna lose your flesh. You're gonna die. This flesh dies, man. It's corrupt. 
you know it's sinful flesh but the spirit is pure and that's why the scriptures say the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak that's why we need our flesh to be changed we need a perfect body the 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 activation of the new covenant all right when the lord said he would take the stony heart out and give us the heart of flesh we need that we need that that's the only way we can be perfect in yahweh bashim all right as it's written so it says for to be carnally minded is death you don't want to be about death right we're not the children of the death we're the children of the light right we're not the children of the dark we're the children of the light it says but to be spiritually minded is life and peace you know because when you look at things through a spiritual eye and you read things you know you you have more wisdom you're more wise you know you weighing things out you know through the spirit in your how about you now shy you know and you can over overall see the situation you know that's very important to live life more in the spirit than you are in your flesh you can't help but live in the flesh because we are in the flesh but you can strive in righteousness to doing more of Yahweh Bashim Shai, refraining your flesh you know instead of giving yourself over to the shit you don't have license to sin and that's scripture you do not have license to sin man for those out there that's thinking that you know um you think you're gonna pacify the Lord you know, scriptures go into that. Uh, it's in a book of Sirach, I believe. Uh, pacifying the Lord. Let me see something. Sirach, yeah, I was trying to close. But it bugs me that I can't remember this scripture. Um, uh, um. Salakia. Okay, let me read this and I'll close. This is Sirach chapter 5 and 1. Set thy heart upon thy goods and say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not thy own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. See? Thy own mind and thy strength. You know, you're leaning upon your own understanding. You know, you think that you know everything guys do this men i'm talking about uh men in the world you know and as a brother being in this truth becoming a new creature you got to work yourself out of that you got to pray to yahweh by shimei shai that you don't do that and you lean upon the scriptures you know scriptures say a prudent man foreseeth the evil and he hideth himself all right so it says follow not thy own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart meaning to walk in the ways of your mind because certain guys, especially Jake, the tribe of Judah, they know it all. They know everything. Can't tell a nigga nothing. Right? And say not who have control for my works. For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. And you got jokers out here like that. You know? I'm my own man. I'm my own body. Niggas are, I'm God body. You know, tapping themselves. God body. You know? Thinking that they control their own destiny. You know? When you don't control shit. All right? It says, and say not who shall control me for my works. That's pride, man. You know, you, you're actually tempting the Lord to come against you. It says, for the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. All right. So a man that commits sin and, and powers iniquity, right? He says, and what harm have happened unto me? Because jokers, you know, you know, you know, I'm good. You know, Jake say that a lot. I'm good. Ain't none of us good. You know, right? It says, for the Lord is long suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. Meaning, yeah, the longer suffer for you, your wickedness for a while. But guess what? He ain't letting you go. You ain't getting away with what you did. Like you fucking Edomites. The wicked himself that the Lord created. You're not getting away with your wickedness, man. Every little thing that you have done to the Israelites, the Lord is going to pay you back for. All right? He ain't letting you go. It says, For the Lord, for the Lord is long suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. 
right now real quick I looked this up before and I want to look it up again I forgot the meaning to it but let's look this up again um, propitiation the action of propitiating or appeasing a God spirit or person atonement especially that of Yahawashai Hamashiach. So it says the action of propitiating or appeasing a God, which is really Yahweh. Then it says a spirit or a person. So propitiation means it's some sort of atonement that pleases or pacifies, pacifies the Lord's anger, right? So going back to the scripture, Sirach chapter five and five concerning propitiation be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Because if you don't have no fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you're gonna add a nick, you're gonna pile on iniquity. You know, you're gonna pile on sins which turns into iniquities. You know, you're not supposed to, you know, lead your life that way. Right? This is why those that us that repented, we no longer live like that. It says concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And say not his mercy is great, for he, uh, excuse me, say not his mercy is great, he will be pacified. Here we go. This is the point. And say not his mercy is great, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath cometh from him, and his judgments resteth upon sinners. You know, so he will not, he says, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Yeah, because, you know, especially in Christianity, two-thirds of Jake, they think that the Lord is pacified with their sins, you know, and, and the saying that they say a lot, you know, God knows my heart, God knows my heart, here it is they're doing some wicked shit, but they're saying God knows their heart, that they don't mean wrong they don't mean mean wrong, yes you do alright, because to make that statement, you should know better and you should do better we all know what's wrong and right, common sense wise, but now to get more understanding, of course, you learn the scriptures you learn of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in, the, in his way and the way that he ordered us to be, you'll be more, you know, uh, well-rounded and having more understanding of, of, of how to live. And I mean, in your man, mannerism, conduct, you know, we're, we're hoping to be worthy. That's the point. We're hoping. None of us are saved yet, man. Right. So it says, um, for mercy and wrath cometh from him. So whether mercy or whether the Lord's judgment, it comes from Yahweh. All right. It says, and his indignation rests upon sinners, meaning his righteous anger, it rests upon you. You know, <laughs> it says, make no turn to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance. You know, and that's basically the lesson. You know, I didn't mean to read all that, but. It was the pacified part that I was looking for, but the topic of this lesson is um uh peace a uh, peaceful place, man. That's what we're looking for, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to be established here on the earth. And I gotta say also as well, be thankful, man. You know, be thankful in what you have, be thankful in that the Lord, you know, shows mercy towards you. You know, take nothing for granted, man. Because all we really need is our daily bread. That's all we ask for. To get by. This is a wicked ass fucking society. And it's only getting harder. You know, it's going to get harder. It's going to get more rough. You know, and when you ask for mercy and the Lord shows it, be thankful. You know, I'm very thankful right now. You know, I'm very thankful. More thankful than I was before. I was always thankful, but I'm thankful even more now. Always thankful and giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because it's Him that does the work. All right, and double honors to my apostles and bishops, elders of Great Millstone, man. All right, the real brotherhood, real men of the Lord, man. All right, so with that, I'm gonna say, call Halal La Yahweh Bahashim Shai, which means all praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai. Double honest to my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. Shalom.